Dr. Otto's auto repair shop. This is Mrs. Wiggins. Is my car fixed yet? It's the Studebaker. <laughs> yeah, you know, the one with the little doggy in the window that goes. <laughs> oh, Dr. Otto himself is handling it personally? Okay. Would you have him call Mrs. Wiggins? At the Thank you. Quicksilver. <laughs> what in your wildest imagination, and I doubt the very much if you have one, since there seems to be nothing into that skull but the wind. <laughs> what are you doing? Why don't you erase the dead thing on there when they make a mistake? Instead of tearing that paper out, you know that the paper doesn't grow on the trees. <laughs> I can't use my eraser because it fell down in there. <laughs> Now why don't you reach down in there with the one of your frog paws and pull it out? That's too dangerous. Dangerous? To go down in there to get in the eraser, that's dangerous. Yeah. Did your mother have any children that lived? <laughs> what do you mean the dangerous? You just reach right down in there and take it out. Ah! <laughs> Look at that. You typed a big Q right on my tongue. <laughs> that and a hitchhiker to Quebec. <laughs> mm. Opens the old the tear ducts on the eyes, though. Know. Listen, just to forget about all of that the typing that you got to get done and get into the office. I want to have you to take a letter. I can't take a letter. I'm out of paper. <laughs> Why don't you take those lava legs and go down the hall and get it some more? <laughs> Want me to walk down the hall and get some more paper? Then those words are just to flow right from my mouth into between my teeth and out into the air. I, I could walk down the hall and get some paper. Then why don't you do that? You want me to? It'd be a good idea. Okay. Must be quite a thrill in her neighborhood at night to see her walking her snail. <laughs> Answer the. F uh, you. <laughs> Hello, this. Huh? No, she's not the here. He's uh, going down the hall to get some of the paper. Uh, huh? Well, look. I'll take a message, just a moment there. Who is this? Dr. Otto. All right, just a moment. Ah, not allowed to, pretty soon this will be her office. I kinda, yes, go ahead there, Dr. Otto, what? Uh-huh. The body's falling apart. <laughs> and, and no hope. Okay, a life expectancy about a week. Okay, doctor, I'll tell her. <clears throat> Delivered this a message to her. Hey, wound, wound, wound. <laughs> a doctor, uh, hello, a do uh, holy, oh my gosh, I only got the week or two. She, oh, oh, <laughs> she's going to that big secretarial pool in the sky. <laughs> that you walked all the way down to the hall to get some paper. They only bring her back to the one piece. Well, that's what you told me to do. Don't yell at me. How many times? I... I'm sorry. I didn't mean it to you. Let me take that paper. That must be real heavy for you. <laughs> well, why would you get more than one piece? You're only going to type one letter. Why don't you just come into the office and kind of relax? Boy, you got to take a load off of your uh, feet. <laughs> 
slide over here and just kind of sit down and relax before uh, you have to to go. Go home, that is. Go home. Uh, how about a nice cup of a coffee? Oh, I don't know. I really shouldn't. I read somewhere where coffee cuts your life in half. Well, I hope you don't have any plans past the Thursday. Uh, well, what I said is that the coffee is real good if you're really a thirsty. Yeah. Do you mind if I uh, have a cup of my... A little bit nervous about that. Uh, gosh. You know. You got the plug. Ah! <laughs> you know why? Good, good, good. <laughs> oh, down there, you're oh, aching. I couldn't see that. Thank you very much. But how many times have I told you that you. you... That's all right. <laughs> Don't you worry. That was my fault that I did that. I'm always doing those doggone silly things just to make me to laugh. <laughs> Don't you worry. I you know. I better get back to work. I don't have much time. I know that. Uh, just sit down. Just, uh, just uh, sit down. You know, if I never had the much chance just to, to sit in the talk. Do you want to just uh, sit and talk for a while? <laughs> Could get to know each other a lot better. You want to rap? <laughs> I don't care. Let's just uh, get to get to know each other. Uh, <laughs> well. around on my desk. Does he have a place for everything? Is this and... <laughs> oh. Don't. Why did you... Get that off with the tissue here. Just to leave it alone. Don't worry. It's going to be all tissue. I'll have the cleaners get it off. I'm telling you, so just to leave it. with the tissue. Ah. There you go. Sit down, the Mrs. Wiggins. Sit down. I think this looks real good. <laughs> uh, Mrs. Wiggins, if there's uh, something that I have to tell you, I I just uh, heard uh, <clears throat> from the doctor. Dr. Otto? Yes. What did he say? He just gave me the report. Uh, maybe you better uh, sit down. Okay. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> he said that... Uh, According to the report that the life expected didn't say is about the, the week. Oh, darn. That was my... <laughs> oh, darn. <laughs> you mean uh, you hear this kind of news and that's all you say is the oh, darn? <laughs> Uh, when did you first uh, start to thinking that there's something that's uh, wrong? Well, I th it was uh, last Saturday, and that was when I first started to hear the funny noises. Oh, uh, I know. That's what they say. And then on Sunday, some parts fell off. <laughs> <laughs> and then I knew I was in big trouble when I saw this big puff of black smoke. <laughs> so I took my car into Dr. Otto's auto repair shop, and he said he Wait could a see minute. what he could do about it. Hold it just a minute. <laughs> auto repair? Yeah. You mean that Dr. Otto is working on that piece of tin that you call your car, the one with the dog in it that goes... <laughs> go 
like that goes like that. I don't know what to do like that. I came in all the time. I was thought I was talking about you, and you got me all coffee and all the rags and everything here, and I well, thought that I that's for crying out loud that you were at the... Where are you going to now? I'm going home. I get a headache whenever you yell at me. You're not going anywhere. You got the letters to type here, and you're going to type those things if you like it or not. Okay. And another thing. <laughs> I'll just be in my office, and I won't bother you. Huh? 